morning, Stefano. You look exhausted. Ah, I had some night. I went dancing at the new Latin lesbian bar, Chicks and Salsa. <laughs> Chicks and Salsa? Why did you go there? I like to spend time with my mother. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Jackie Collins' name has appeared 29 times this month in the National Tattler, and mine only twice. I don't get it. Am I not a substance abuser? No one abuses more than you. For God's sakes, I even slept with a third cousin through marriage because he publishes the Globe. Still no mention. Whatever happened to nepotism? Have we learned nothing from the spellings? What are you doing? If Brooke Shields can keep an acting career going, I can get my name in print. <laughs> yes, good morning, National Tattler. This is Ellie Walker's bitter ex-assistant. <laughs> so you know, I'm an anonymous but reliable source. Yes, did you know that Ellie Walker's a hermaphrodite and got herself pregnant? <laughs> yes, yes, she's carrying her own love child. You're welcome. Well, that should knock Bruce Willis's hair plugs off the cover. Well, guess why I'm smiling. Her parents decided not to press charges. They did? I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> Actually, uh, the reason I'm smiling is I just ran into my old college buddy, Mark Finnegan. Ooh. Isn't he that motivational speaker who wrote that book, Begin Again with Finnegan? Yes, and he told me that he would be very interested in doing his next book with us. Ooh. And he is the greatest guy, really. I just, everyone loves him. I love him. And I, I don't usually love men, but I love him. Everyone loves him. Would someone please stop me? Is he cute? Well, he'll be up here in a minute, so you can determine what? his cuteness yourself. Don't worry, it'll be fine. You'll love him. Now, Ellen, I, it really wouldn't kill you to say something nice about the company when he arrives, all right? And even if it did kill you, well, then we'll just consider that a perk. Huh? You know, Peter, you had no right to arrange a meeting without consulting me first. Oh. I have a very busy schedule. I can't possibly meet with him today. Now he can draw up a proposal and then we can talk. Hello. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She likes the air, but never comes late. She never bothers with people she hates. That's why the lady is a tramp. She likes a free. This is Mark Finnegan. Mr. Finnegan, welcome. Thank you. Isn't he great? <laughs> oh, and this is Ellie Walker. Don't get too close. We've lost people from the suction. <laughs> oh, Peter. Small, small Peter. <laughs> Ms. Walker, I am a very big fan of your work. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mark Dot will uh, tell you a little bit about the inner workings of Emerson Publishing. Emerson, did you know that that means beauty touched by the sun? Does it really? It does now. Oh. Oh, well, that's the... Uh, no, I don't you. Oh, um, I'm sure Ellie here can vouch for how one-on-one -on -one we are with our authors. Well, that's good, because I like a publisher to have a hands-on relationship with me. She's very good with her hands. <laughs> Although I, I do believe in giving our authors plenty of um, breathing room. Heavy breathing. I read your book, and I was particularly fascinated by your philosophy on, on fear. Don't know why, just am. <gasps> well, then, you know, I believe fear is the only obstacle to happiness. I believe when you see something that you want, you should go get it. Why wait? Why have fear? You seem so passionate about your work. I am very passionate, and I'm looking for the same in a publisher. Well, you won't find a publishing house more committed to passion. Oh, God, yes. Unbridled, uncensored, reckless passion. Doesn't anyone else crave a cigarette? You know, I've always found these uh, business conversations in small offices rather constricting. We have a very large conference room that we could go to. Yeah, well, no, I was thinking, I know of this lovely restaurant um, in Maine. 
I'd have you back by sundown. Oh, that's... Uh, that, that, uh, huh? That's really wonderful, but I couldn't possibly because I... My schedule, I have things um, back to back. Well, I'm offering you me face to face. Come on. <laughs> Is everything in your life so planned now? Oh, no. Well, only the important things, mm. like when I'm old, I am to be a burden on my son. Uh -huh. And if I'm put on a respirator, I want the plug pulled, of course, not until I'm down to a size four. <laughs> I've had some really cute pictures taken. You're being coy. I'm being tempted. You're being safe. I'm being seduced. I'll meet you in the lobby in five minutes. How will I recognize you? I'll be the one pulsing with anticipation. I should be able to spot that. Oh, you will, believe me. Oh. Hi, Dad. Ready to go? <gasps> you got some! I got it. Oh, it. It like you read about? It like you write about. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Which book? All of them. <laughs> oh, Ellie, no. this is so incredible. He's so incredible. This is right. Oh, oh, good. I want to hear all about it on the way. Let's go. Go where? Go where? Yeah. Go, go where? To Todd Oldham's spring collection. I mean, come on. We're, we're going to be sitting right between Jerry Hall and Sally Kirkland. I mean, think how young we'll look. <laughs> I can't do it. Dot, you have to. See, I'm going to get my name in the paper by creating a huge scene. As she walks down the runway, I'm going to pelt Kate Moss with jelly donuts. <laughs> Hi. I missed you, too. Oh. Oh. So, oh, you naughty. What are you doing? A shower, really. And it was wonderful. Well, you could have asked me to join you. I can get dirty again really quickly. <laughs> movie I'm serious 
You are, aren't you? You know, I know. It's only been two weeks, but you know the kind of man I am. I believe that we all have soulmates. And I believe that you're mine. And I say, why wait? I just might say yes. Then say it. Yes. Hello, dear. Is the ungrateful, sarcastic bitch around? Mom's upstairs. Uh, wow, Grandma, that is some necklace there. Oh, it's a welcome to the harem gift from Farouk. And I'm glad someone's appreciative, because when I got out of the car just now, some crazy woman started screaming, that necklace could feed dozens of homeless people. What did you do? Well, I told her I was afraid they'd break their teeth on the stones. <laughs> so, what's this big news I've been uh, summoned here for? I'm not sure. All I know is Mom's been spending a lot of time with this man she's met. Oh, now he's not Persian, is he? Because every time I do something, your mother has to do it, too. She's very competitive. Oh, it's so sad, really. Persian. No, I don't think so. His name's Mark Finnegan. Ah, Jewish man. Good choice. Hi, Mommy. Hello, Bren Bren. Did you see the moon tonight? <laughs> It's full, like my life. Dorothy, dear, I've just heard that you met a man. Now, I hope you're being safe, because the one thing you don't need is getting pregnant. Oh, oh Mama, really? <laughs> but you're a Morgan, dear, and we're known for our fertility. Oh, Mother, I'm an only child. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, we're known for our good posture. Here. I was on my way back from my lawyers. That Kate Moss has no sense of humor. <laughs> Neither does Naomi Campbell. Or Cindy Crawford. <laughs> I got carried away. Oh, well, <laughs> this better be good. If it's not good, it's wonderful. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm in love. <laughs> and I'm getting married. Married? Married. In love? <laughs> yes. Yes. And... Oh, yes. Married again? Why? Mom, he's practically a stranger. Brendan, don't point out the positives. I'm trying to talk her out of it. <laughs> Have you taken leave of your senses? You barely know this man. Oh, Mother, don't be such a hypocrite. You've been married seven times. Yes, but I don't marry for love. <laughs> Except for your father. Now, which one was he? Mom, Mom, listen. If he's gonna be my stepfather, I'd like to get to know a little about him. And so should you. Oh, well, I know how I feel, and I believe that we all have soulmates, and Mark is mine. I mean, look at me, look at me, look at me. My knees are actually quivering at the bottom. <laughs> oh, smell this pillow. It has his scent. <laughs> This is not good at all. She's smelling pillows. Mom? Listen to this. Hi, Dot. It's Mark. Huh. Hi, Dot. It's Mark. Oh. Hi, Dot. It's Mark. Listen to that voice. It's like this male siren calling to his distant love. Oh, I hear sirens all right. They're coming for you. <laughs> oh. mm. I have to go. What time is it? I have to meet Mark. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh, hey, do you know when his birthday is? March 3rd. Oh, isn't that great? Oh. Whoa. I don't know when she be in. I don't know where she is. 
She's probably out sucking face with her new man. <laughs> yes? I'll tell her you called. Archbishop O'Connor. I'm sorry. I've seen because of her. My boyfriend will kill me. She's your friend. Do something. What? what? It's not my fault. It's Peter's fault he brought that guy in here. Me? It's Stefano's fault. Why my fault? Because if you were a good assistant, you'd be sleeping with her. Like my assistant sleeps with me. How do you expect to get promoted? Peter, have I ever told you that I get lost in your blue eyes? Well, thank you. Hey. No, I'm, I'm, well, I'm flattered. Hey! Kelly, well, you take care of this. Stefano, what are we gonna do? <sighs> hello, friends. Oh, hello, office. Oh, look, look. This is the exact spot where Mark and I first didn't talk. Oh, no, this one. Oh, this one. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, this is it. <laughs> Listen to me. Um. You need help. I know. I have caterers to hire, a dress to buy, vows to write. Uh, Dot, listen. Mm -hmm. um, this is more than just impulsive. This is reckless. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. I've experienced sonic booms in the cockpit of a fighter plate at 40,000 feet, and sure, I've offered my body for experimental drug studies, and yeah, I've gargled water from third world countries. I mean, for God's sakes, I even told Kathy Lee Gifford that I thought Cody's left eye wanders a little bit. I mean, I mean nobody lives more dangerously than I do. Marriage? Are you insane? Oh, Ellie, darling, I, I really believe that this is the right thing. Okay, okay. So can't you do the right thing just a little bit slower? I mean, sometimes the old-fashioned way is best. You know, sex before marriage, you know, living in sin, multiple partners. I don't want to slow down. I want to go fast. It's like there's this voice inside my head saying, Hey, you with the windswept hair and the great gems, this! is your destiny. Oh. Is that the same little voice that told you to get that perm back in 73? <laughs> Ellie, it's really important to me that you approve. Well, I don't not approve. Not not approving is not the same as approving. <laughs> but it's not not approving. It's just not approving approving. I want you to approve approve, not not approve. Well, and how can I approve if you can't prove to me that he's worth my approval? All right, all right. Come with me now to his lecture when you see how passionate, inspirational, and motivational he is. There is no way that you will not approve. Okay, fine. Let's go. Okay, fine. Come on. Thanks. Oh, and Dale, just for the record, it's not Cody's eye that wanders. It's Frank's. <laughs> All right, let's begin again. With me again. Rick. You've just been informed that you've lost all of your money. Good news or bad news? Bad news. No, wrong. Good news. You've just been informed that your house burned down. Good news or bad news? Bad news. No, good news. You've just been told your relationship is over. Good news or bad news? Good news. No, that's bad news. <laughs> but you can make it good. You see, my friends, it's all in your perspective. See, you're broke. It's just the opportunity to begin again. You've lost your house, you're unencumbered. Your relationship is over. It frees you up to find the true love of your life. Begin again! We begin again! Yes! You know, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. I'm just charging you for it. <laughs> I think about my last relationship. I was tossed out like a used Kleenex on a Hollywood side street. Bad. You know, I thought so. But then she walked into my life, this woman I fell in love with. <laughs> now, you talk about your opportunities for fear. I'm about to marry this woman, and I've only known her two weeks, but do we have fear? No. I'm about to move in with her and her son, who I barely know, and who I will eventually adopt as my own, but do we have fear? No. <laughs> we are going to grow old together. We are going to travel the world together. As I lecture, no fear. We're going to have beautiful babies together. <laughs> Many of them. No fear. We are going to meditate together, pray together, love together, live together, and all with no fear. Fear, no fear, fear, fear. Where's your fear? Doc. Big fear. Mark, 
Could we please t talk outside? No, 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 wait, wait, we've got nothing to hide. Come up here, come up here, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now, now, speak out, speak freely, speak without fear. Come on. That's it. That's it. I don't think that I can marry you. Bad news. So, good news. What are you afraid of? This. Uh -huh. Marriage. Uh -huh. I thought I could, but I can't. Uh -huh. Thought could, now can't, could, can't. Uh -huh. Do you see the progression here? No, 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 that's just your fear talking, yes, sweetheart. It, yes, it is. Yes. I, my fear and I would like to talk to you outside. <laughs> this isn't like you. This isn't like her. It's not. No, 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 actually, it is. This is like me. He doesn't know me very well. You see, Mark, that's the problem. That's the problem. We don't know each other very well. And all I'm saying is that I think we need some time. Ooh. Saying no to now, marrying now, is saying no, Dot. No, it's saying no to now. Now, you see the distinction, don't you? I know what I want. That, hmm? You obviously don't know what you want. Well, I know that I don't want to rush into things. Well, then I guess that's no. Well, then I guess that's it. Good news. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Okay. Well, it'll, it'll hit you tomorrow. Look, in the meantime, why don't you suck on a couple of these? <laughs> I did do the right thing, didn't I, Ellie? Well, that depends. How good was the sex? Oh, damn. This is not fair. This is not fair. My deal. My deal. They were my donuts. No! Join Nicole Kidman, Courtney Cox, Mary Tyler Moore, First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton, and me, Paula Zahn, Wednesday, when I host People Magazine's Yearbook 95. Be there as we meet this year's heroes, review the hottest trends, and reveal the sexiest man alive. It's all in the People Yearbook 95, Wednesday. You're on CBS. locations all across the country and lots of ways to help you all around the store we've got presents to go we're wrapping your gifts doing hassle-free returns doing gift certificates do, do, do it right jc penny the value leader do it right during the jc penny lingerie sale save 25 to 40 percent on a beautiful selection of holiday gifts Somewhere between sundown and sunrise comes Stetson Sierra, so distinctive, it's a man's power of attraction. Ghost Mist. When you were growing up, did you know that whatever you chose to do, something inside you would always shine through? Ghost Mist. You can't see it, but you know it's there. To me, the best rules are the ones you make yourself. For example, if there's a better way, I'll take it. That's how I found this Healthy Choice cereal from Kellogg's. They really made new rules when they invented these toasted brown sugar squares, like give it three different grains for a good crunch. Then put enough brown sugar and honey in there so you don't miss a frosting. Fun without frosting. Now there's a rule I can live with. Healthy Choice cereal. Sure, it's good for you. <laughs> but taste rules. Need a break? Yeah! The Monopoly game is bigger, better, and back at McDonald's. Just order any of these McDonald's food favorites to get your game piece. Cruises, cars, cash, a million bucks. This is your best holiday break ever. I won! You won! 
People everywhere are winning big. Playing the Monopoly game at McDonald's. Catherine Cox won a cruise for four on the Big Red Boat with air travel on United Airlines. And with millions of prizes left, you could be next. So take a break and get a break at McDonald's. Objective, bring peace to Bosnia. Dan Rather is there. 48 Hours takes you along as U.S. troops began this dangerous mission. A special 48 Hours Thursday. Chicago Hope, tonight on CBS. Hi, welcome to Radio Shack. Can I help you? Yes, you may. This never happened before. I just don't know what to get the kids this year. Uh, well, kids love RC cars and personal electronics. Mm, good. Science kits, walkie-talkies. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Uh, all kinds of electronic games. Terrific. Keyboards, boomboxes. Great. I'll take 50000 of each. But you never saw me, okay? Okay. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Trust me. Okay. Do you know how good hot chocolate chip cookies are? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know how good they smell? Oh, yeah. And how the chocolate gets all melty all over your fingers? Oh, yeah. Well, don't Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies bake up hot and fresh in less than 15 minutes? Oh, yeah. Wow, you were right. Oh, works every time. sneak out on Wednesday nights. How could I tell my husband that his liberated wife was at the neighbors, watching Andrew Clay? Then I discovered that while I was out, my husband was watching Andrew Clay, too, with the kids. How could he have deceived me like that? Bless this house with Kathy Moriarty and Andrew Clay, Wednesdays. Last Christmas, I came across this Hallmark card that seemed perfect for my parents. So I had this great idea. So my sister sent it to me down here in Virginia. I sign it. And then she sent it on to our brother George in Albuquerque. The card said, even though we can't be there for Christmas. The love you give. It helps keep our family close together. Woo! When we read that card, I just had to take in a deep breath. And you know what? They all signed it just like when they were kids. <laughs> this Christmas, see what happens when you care enough to send the very best. George took credit for the whole thing. Hey, I'm Elvis. What do you put on first? Ooh, ooh, girl, you look so appealing. I can't believe what you are changing into. Hanes her way panties. More ways to undress up. Just wait till we get our Hanes on to you. Of course, drums. Perfect. A treadmill. He could use that. Mommy. I think she's ready for a doll. Hey, I thought you were going shopping. Tonight on Dave, the conversation heats up with Bob Hoskins. Yeah. Holiday decorating with Martha Stewart. Plus, deck the halls with the mayor of New York on an all-new day. Randy Travis and Connie Selica. You left me standing at the altar. Are getting a second chance at first love. What if it doesn't work out again? Will they have a holiday to remember Tuesday?